I just did a high fall, I picked up a little, mind your flesh wound, it didn't go according to plan. But um, I'll be alright, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll fight through it. The relationship with the first picture is obviously the prison yard and, and having the whole death race. This one's a little bit different. So it starts off being a death match, as in a big arena fight. You know, I've worked in this field since uh, 1985, and I have never seen girls train this well. Leanne's a diamond. She's been in the stunning industry for nearly 20 years. She was um, a South African champion kickboxer, and then she went into stunts. The awkward thing about getting girls into stunts is that no one wants to see a girl get hurt. And it's not a sexist thing, it's like if a guy falls over, everyone just allows him to pick himself up. But if a girl falls over, we'll offer help. And she's cute, yeah. <laughs> and then we go into the cars once they decide that the fight is not a good idea because it breaks into a riot. I don't like CG in car stuff. You always see it. CG is perfect for cleaning out mess, you know, and I do that a lot. If you only have four cameras and you blow a car, there will be cameras in the shots. But um, in the stunts and stuff, we try to keep them a little bit different that are from Jason Statham movie. Because we don't do the same car crashes, we don't do the same kind of driving. Uh, we've got Malcolm, our uh, one-eyed wonder. He's the guy, I mean, any hard gag that you go to do in a stunt, if he's available, he's, he's our first choice. There's only half a meter either side. To be able to turn that car in and flip it at the right time, that you're not going into the wall or into the fence, there's not many people that could pull that off. To have one eye and do it, it takes a lot of experience. Death Race 2, it's all fun and games until someone gets hurt.